so I had recorded, um, today is Sunday, August the 6th. I had recorded on the 4th and put out on Friday, or recorded on Friday the 4th, put out on Friday, or Saturday the 5th. A monthly update and I had mentioned that um, I would try to go live today or this weekend and so today is the day so my plan is to go through all my whips um, that I have this giant box behind me you can't see it because it is so big it will not fit on this table <laughs> um, I did show you my smaller, um, if you did watch my recorded video on Friday, um, I did show my smaller, um, like scrapbook storage box. So my plan is, is to go through everything in my, uh, manual journal and figure out what I, um, what I have that is so we're starting with 2021 here one not finished but two um something i still want to stitch and get it put into this journal um, I probably won't do all the journaling here on camera, but then the other thing is wanted to get it on my whip, uh, tracker on the Notions app that Nati, uh, designed. I actually added another, um, whip on there last night because I spun my arbitrary August wheel and my, I'll show you really quick, my Gaia, my Earth Day, um, the Earth Day, um, like, collection that came out earlier this year. Um, she was on my wheel and got spun. So I did, didn't do much. I did just this little bit of hair and then back down um, this is where I started uh, my last thread right here and was coming back around and then to do the other side of her hair and then do her head. So that is where I'm at on her. She's definitely on the list of whips, but she got added to the Notion app last night because um, I wanted to keep track of what was left to do. So that was kind of exciting. You should see the floor down here in addition to the bin behind me. Um, so I don't know how this is going to go. I'm starting this at like 8 a.m. It's already 8.15. After a couple of false starts um, of trying to get my live up and running. Get the camera set up, I guess is the better way to put it. So I am going to, I think, I don't think I'm going to go through this chronologically and try to dig stuff out because I don't know where everything is. I know where a lot of this is, but I don't know. I've moved stuff um, in like different bags and moved stuff around. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is as I pull it out of the, the um, bin over here, I will see if I can find it in my journal and then we can walk through. Um, whether or not I'm going to continue to stitch it and, you know, fabric and floss and that kind of stuff. So, uh, so these probably, or these definitely won't be in chronological order. These will probably be in order of probably either last touched or I think in the case of this big bin, I had put everything on top that was like on my whip go board. So that way, if it got called, I could pull it out real easily. Um, and there is a lot of stuff in that bin that isn't even, it's just kits of stuff. So um, maybe we'll, I'll set all those aside. And if there's still some time, I only want to be, do this for a couple hours. So if there's some time left at the end, maybe I'll um, uh, go through some of the kitted stuff I've got too. It might be kind of fun to do that. So, okay. So this is my first bag. This is a, um, I wish I knew the name of the shop. Um, I bought a couple of these bags. 
Um, but this is kind of her signature um, uh, detail is these little um, zipper pull, the little felt hearts. So I've got a couple of these. They're like little um, luau cats. Um, this is, and I don't have a don't have a printed picture of it, so maybe in editing I will put it up because I don't have anything else um, really that I can show. But this is my Thurza Priscilla Dawes. This is a center start that I started, and this was something that I was going to do for, uh, I think I had it on the top because I was going to do it for Stitch for Pride, um, maybe in July, and, or June, I mean, and um, just didn't get around to it just because the stitching isn't that important. But of course, this is by Hemlock and Rye. Um, this is uh, Julie, Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World. This is her uh, design, design company. Um, And this is on a piece of Fortnite Fabrics Alfred, which is a 36 count, and this is a quarter piece. I don't know that it's going to take up the whole piece, but I did a center start because I don't know that um, when I'm done, because it is a big piece, if I will have enough um, fabric left over. But I am doing the Brights colorway. You know, Julie's doing a third, like a goth um, colorway as well. Um, but the original two were the front, kind of the more muted, and then um, the back, you know, colors, which was the more bright um, colorway. So that's the one I opted for. So it's all in DMC. So this is definitely a keeper. It's definitely something I want to continue to stitch on. Obviously, I'm not very far, and I think I have the paper chart printed because I think I did do this, stitch this live one day on um, Twitch and needed something um, just because all of my, I think I have it on um, Pattern Keeper, a digital copy on Pattern Keeper, and I realized I couldn't, couldn't do that and record at the same time. So that is number one. Um, let me see if I can tell you when I started it. Probably not because I've had this one for a while. I know it was last year, 2022 sometime. I don't know that I'm going to be able to. I got better about spacing out um, when I wrote things down so that way I could make. Oh, here it is right here. This is it, 418. So April 18th is when I started this. And like I said, I've worked on it a couple of times since then. But yeah, that's definitely a keeper. So that's going in the keep uh, whip section. So the next one is, um, this is my own vinyl front bag. This is um, a Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, I want to say maybe this is two years old. And this came out for... Um, Yeah, I started this on uh, May the 4th, the the unofficial, official, unofficial Star Wars Day in 2021. The bag is mine. The zipper pull, I think, uh, the frog was something that was given uh, as part of the kit. The charm was a Charmed and Dangerous, I think, charm, like a, a project uh, progress keeper uh, knitting charm. So I put that on there. All of the... Um, these are all needle minders of the movie posters from the Star Wars movies. Um, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, and uh, the original New Hope. Um, but this was a kit done by the Forbidden Fiber Company. I'm trying to find. Um, I've got so many Star Wars things, it's funny. And this is, this is the way. So it was the entire kit, um, and hold on a second, the, 
I'm going to take all the stuff out so you can kind of see this. The vinyl, the, the thing on the cover, this was actually from a separate Forbidden Fiber Company. Um, or maybe, no, maybe it was part of this one. But I got the, um, the Mandalorian cross-stitch kit and the yarn kit. And they both came with these vinyl sticker thingies. So I stuck one of them on the front of my um, vinyl um, bag. This is, I think, the back of my needle minder. I am really struggling this morning, y'all. There we go. So, um, this is the kit. So, this is called for colors, forbidden fiber floss. Um, like I said, I started this on May the 4th of April 21, or May the 4th of 2021. There's multiple needles in here, which is absolutely nuts that is i can't remember who did these that's uh darth vader this one came with the kit this one is probably a um who is now wild um who is a wild rainbow company or whatever but used to be the one that did all the needle minders and stuff i think that's that's one of those um but yeah so it's full kit uh 14 count ada which i don't mind i mean i don't stitch on it very much anymore but um but i don't mind continuing to stitch on it um so yeah and i know i pulled this out i think last so if this was started in 2021 i think maybe in 2022 i pulled this out for star wars day and did a little bit on it and then um this may have also been a whip go pull last year it might be on this year's but probably not but I um, have worked on it a couple of times, but I've still got a ways to go. This is definitely another one I want to finish. It'll just take me some time to get back around to it. Um, as you can see, this is all I've got done. It's just the, this bottom, uh, this is the way at the bottom, and then, you know, the first few letters. So I've still got a lot of, a lot of stitching left to do on the two characters. But, um, but yeah, this will... This is definitely a keeper. Um, again, it's a much larger project than I had. Um, you know, when you get started on stuff like this, you think you've got all the time in the world, and then you get distracted by so many things that some of these larger projects look to be very um, um, daunting or seem like the kind of thing where maybe, maybe you over overextended yourself a little bit okay so the next one this is another one of my bags um this one i had found some scrap of this dark darker um vinyl which i kind of really like it was heavier just to kind of show you you know the difference but I kind of like it because I feel like it's better protection from um, like UV light and everything so this is so it's kind of funny I actually have two of Peruvian flare on a Guayos patterns in here one is a I think this is the first Tokapu um, this was a whip go and I pulled um, Leo and Roxy floss for it and you can see I'm not these are for anybody who's looked at these and thought oh I really want to stitch one of those that looks like a nice small they're really not that small they're not full coverage but they have a lot of stitches in them so um keep that in mind they're they're definitely more um stitch heavy than than even I realized um but so yeah so I've got this one that I definitely try to keep on my whip go um, board and then also this is lovebirds that I also try to keep on my whip go board but this one I've talked about a couple of times and um, Daybreak, Daybreak Stitchery Nitya mentioned and I think I'm going to try it um, so the fabric I'm using is a really really crusty stiff Ada and the floss I'm using is a, a 
flower silk by Stitchy Box. And so the combination of the two, this real dry, scratchy um, silk, or I mean fabric is pulling on the silk. Ah, <gasps> oh, you did! Hi, hi, hi! How are you? <laughs> That's amazing! How, how serendipitous of that you, you showed up. <laughs> How are you, my friend? How are you doing? Oh, I was just talking about this. No, I think the last time I showed this was uh, during a Whipgo, you know, kind of parade or something. And I had mentioned that I was using this silk on this really scratchy Ada. And I think your recommendation, um, thank you, thank you. I like it too, I like it a lot. Um, I think your recommendation was to use um, thread conditioner or thread wax. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I just need to get this back out and stitch on it. So, but yeah, so I'm pulling out all my whips and showing all the things and getting myself organized. I need to look and see when I started this. I think this is a couple of years ago too. It might take me a minute to find this one. Oh, it didn't take me very long at all. So I started this in June of 2021. And I think it's been on my whip go board a couple of times in the in a row. You haven't? Yeah, I was going to say, I, you know, it's so funny because especially with like rich um, threads that I'm not sure if they're color fast or not. I always wonder if the thread conditioner, I, I always have to rely on more experts, you know, that have been doing this much longer, that they know that they can recommend, you know, using it with just about any um, fabric or floss or whatever. But sometimes I'm still just so hesitant to try to use um, something that I'm not as familiar with. What I might just have to do is do the old uh, try it out in a corner somewhere where nobody's going to see it and see how it works and then come back and stitch, you know, once I know it's okay, that kind of thing. So, okay, so those are my, my two. Right, right, I completely agree. It's like, I haven't heard anybody say that they used a thread conditioner and it and it messed up their project. So I have to assume that there are enough people using it that, <laughs> that, that it's that it's an okay decision to make. Okay, so that's definitely a keeper. That's going in the continue to stitch pile. Then this probably can tell by the floss is my my modern folk embroidery that I need to get back to. I think I've gone and I've bought like an extra pride pack because I keep I keep um, pillaging out of this one for other projects that I want to use Leo and Roxy on. <laughs> but that is my start right there. And I was using, like I said, the Leo and Roxy set. This is my fabric, Fiberlicious. I'm going to say if this is a May color of the month, this must have been the May that we started this. What was this, 2022 maybe? Let's see if I can find. Or maybe this was 2021. I don't know. I can't find it. Thank you. I was trying to find something. I think his, I think Jacob's mock-up was on a, I don't think it was stitched yet or was it? I can't remember now. But I think one of the mock-ups was on a pink and I really, really, really liked it. So I thought, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Yep, this is 2022. On June 4th, I started this. So this must have been an April 2022 Fiberlicious 
because it seems like every time I get them in the mail, that's something comes along and I go, oh, I could stitch it on that. So, and that is, it's so funny, I keep pulling these out and I'm like, all I can find is like multiple needles, multiple needle minders. <laughs> so I need to be a little more organized about this kind of stuff. And I know in cases like this, it's like, well, I've still got thread left on those two needles, so I know I want to use it. So that's definitely a keeper. It's so funny. I see all these and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to pull that back out. I need to pull that back out. And I know, I think everything I've pulled so far, I've had on a whip go board for the last two years and both years haven't really done much work on them. So thank you very, very much. I will say so this actually looking at it now if i were to do it again i might go just a tad bit lighter but i know there's no um because you you've seen this enough times it's all um you know greenery you know vines uh you know leaves and and stems and stuff and then the flowers you know all around so i don't think i don't think i made a mistake in choosing this but if i had to do start over again I think I might go just a little bit lighter on the pink so maybe it showed up a bit more but I think what I was looking at was this rainbowy um you know color on here and wanting that to kind of be featured as well um along with the the stitching so and I think somebody else either it was either this Fiberlicious, because of course, like I said, I'm almost positive this was the May that year that he released this, but it was either this one or maybe a shade lighter, and theirs turned out really pretty, and I know they finished theirs. Um, but for the life of me, I cannot remember who who um, who that was. Okay, so then my next one, oh, this must be my ink circles. <laughs> my ink circles bag. I started keeping like my uh, Peruvian Flair. I started keeping like all the projects I had of hers that I started all in a bag just to keep them all together. Um, so this is Three Little Kittens. And this has been on my Whip Go board a couple of times. And this is a should have the card in here somewhere. I'm almost positive it's a Fortnite fabrics, but I don't know where the card is. Because usually I keep it all together. I wonder if I put it in here already. But this one I started, I think, for a a stitchy prompt or something. Like I had a doing something I can't remember what I was part of and but I pulled Leo and Roxy for this one and I absolutely I I got so much Leo and Roxy or I say Leo and Roxy because that's what's on the card but it's Roxy Flosco now um I've got so much of that now I just absolutely love pulling um conversions and usually when I do I just try to eyeball like the colors may not be precise or exact, but you know, I know there's kind of a brick red color. I know there's kind of a golden orange color. Um, this purple, obviously I chose is a bit darker than what's on here. This is more of a lavender. There's a brown and a green, but I just kind of go with it and I like doing it a lot. Yes, I like, um, it is kind of interesting because I don't know how many of, um, Tracy Corner's patterns are not the typical mandalas, but I do like the fact that it's not, you know, she's got these little Quakers, but they're not just ginormous, you know, they're not just, you know, stitches and stitches and stitches for days, but the, um, but it is nice that, you know, you can do the goose or you can do the, you know, the plant or you can do the kitten or, you know, the mama cat or something like that and actually kind of get some stuff done on it, which is nice and feel like you've accomplished a little bit on it. 
and this one I truly cannot find. I was hoping I, if I take, since I took the card out, that I would know. I would have put the card in here that would have told me what this fabric is. But I'm not going to spell. Oh, here's, um, okay, well, that's silly. I've basically got it written in here. I started out on August the 15th, 2021, and I did not write down the fabric in here either. So I have no idea, but I'm almost positive it's a Fortnite fabric. Almost positive. Um, and then, just for grins, I have not started this, but this happened to be another one of hers, and I had this fabric that I thought would look really pretty. So, if you want me, if you want me to mention the hashtag, I will. This could be my queued up sell. That would be my next start after I finish this one. <laughs> be excellent, excellent new start after... I finished three little kittens. So that's definitely staying. I, I have a feeling I'm going to go through this entire container and every single one of these whips. I'm going to be like, yep, I'm keeping that. Yep, I'm keeping that. And I'm going to be like, I have way too many whips. <laughs> and it's going to be a nightmare. Okay, so this is the Frosted Pumpkin Cozy Cafe. Stitch along from, I'm going to say this was from 2021, and I think I bought the entire, well, I didn't buy the entire kit, but I think I bought the fabric. I think I bought the, the bag. It's definitely a DMC color set, but I think the fabric was theirs. Um, looking at the needle minders, I want to say maybe that one was the one that they released with this. No, maybe that one was the one they were released with this, and then I bought that one later. One or the other. But this, since the beginning of the sale, is as far as I have gotten. But I bought the beads. So I've got that, and the beading needles, and the um, extra DMC, and then the beading needles in here. And so that, and I'm, I'm almost positive this was... 2021 if not 2020 but probably at the very 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 beginning of the year if I had to guess because that's usually how they like to release these is either around a holiday or a, like beginning of the year start but yes I've got this on here started okay so I started on March 25th 2021 and the fabric is a picture of this plus in opal and it's an ada but i don't know what count it is and i don't know that i kept the card for this one they may only do theirs in a couple of different sizes yeah never ending that's exactly right well and especially certain um designers like tracy Horner. I mean, they're just so prolific. It's like you want just everything that they make um, or everything that they design, you want to stitch. And so, yeah, you kind of have to pace yourself on um, not starting everything all at once. And we're always so tempted by, um, you know, every time a market market releases come out and stuff like that. And then you see the new things and you want all those. I'm getting better now where I tell myself, look, these designs, they aren't going anywhere <laughs> for the most part. I mean, sometimes there are some special, you know, releases or whatever, or, or um, fundraiser releases or something. And I may go do those specifically, but everything else I'm like, just wait just sit on it for a little while and wait you've got so many other things which i'm learning today <laughs> can stitch okay so this is my al force embroidery bag oh so the cozy cafe i'm gonna keep it i only did the one cup and i don't know i'm almost tempted to stitch the ones i want to stitch and either do like little finishes or something 
but I might still do the whole cafe thing. I just, I can't envision myself finishing it as a big piece, but I could see envisioning the little individual cups. So I can't decide what I'm going to do with that just yet, but I do know I want to keep it for now. Um, okay. So this is my all forced embroidery bag. I think I've only got the two whips now. So that's the August cat or autumn cat. And this is the hundred owls. And I'm going to say this these are the autumn cat colors and at some point i did i transitioned from bobbins to um floss drops i definitely like them better but as i'm using the threads off the bobbins i'm converting them and then i think those are my owl colors and this is the i don't have a picture of the autumn cat because most everything i've got is digital but there's the of course the hundred owls I know Jacob is just so prolific isn't he I was gonna say modern folk and they're talking about doing that um, Lord of the Rings the elven elvish um, uh, one that he just kind of recently released like in October or something and so I'm like I, I, I'll I I'll get to them here in a little bit if I don't run out of time, but I've got plenty of his whips that, um, that I need to finish before I do anything else. And like every time Caroline at Evertote releases like a kit, I mean, that's pretty much all the ones I've bought have so far of his that are like physical, like either paper copies or whatever. They've all been Roxy Floss Co. kit, you know, floss sets. Very cool, very cool. The Autumn Cat one, it is. It was, I don't think I have, I take that back. I think I've, in the, since I've known about Owl Forest, I think I've only ever bought like two actual kits. I think everything else that I have that I'm working on of theirs has all been free. But I don't know since all of the um, economic political issues I don't know how much of their free stuff is. I haven't been to their website in so long. I don't know if it, if all that's still there. Like you can just go and download. But yeah, this one was a free one. The Hundred Owls was, if I remember correctly, that was a sow way before I ever downloaded it. By the time I got to it, it was free. Um, and I've got like the, I'll show it here in a little bit, the Alice, um, Alice in Wonderland one I started actually when that sow started. And that, of course, that one's free now. Um, I'm just gonna look and see. Hundred Owls. I started on the fourteenth of May, and then Alice. Actually, I'll show it here in a second. Alice. I started on May fifth, but in twenty twenty one for both of those. So I think. Um, This is my Alice. And Alice, I'm actually, I've got, um, oh, it's right here. Yay. Um, this was a piece of that, you know, when you go to like Michael's or Joann's or somewhere and you buy the, the, um, just the standard like linen in the box. <laughs> Uh, that's what this is and I just put it on a scroll frame and the Alice I'm actually doing a forbidden fiber conversion of that so I literally took out or took the um, DMC and just went and pulled colors for it but that's as far as I got I mean it's not that bad but considering how big this Alice finish actually is I mean it's so much bigger than this uh, you know I mean it's all of this all around the entire so I've still got a ways to go on this. And this is another one I honestly cannot decide. See, I've done the top all the way down to the bottom, but it goes all the way out, you know, to here. And I think it's the fabric too. I was so, this was such a new stitching on linen for me was so new that I think it was kind of um, really learning how to stitch it 
stitch on this was, I think, kind of um, sketchy, iffy. It is. It, it just, um, you know, like I said, it's one of those box buys. So it was like, you know, the Charles Craft, you know, whatever. And it's not, um, I don't think I've got, I mean, I think this is the entire tube of it on here. But it's just, you know, like the tea dyed linen or whatever. But it was, I think this was truly my first linen stitch. And I didn't, um, the only nice thing was that the holes, the, the weave was real, like a real open weave. Um, so I'm definitely doing it two over two just for the coverage. And it's probably, if I had to guess, a 28, um, 28 count. But yeah, I kind of have to decide what I want to do with it. I really do like this. It's just another one of those where I'm like, man, this is going to take me a while. This might be one of those long term, or not long term, but uh, long distance, you know, put it out there uh, for future me to work on when, when I don't have anything else to stitch ever. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Um, and of course, the patterns... The, all the Alforce patterns I've got are digital except for the couple of kits that I bought. So, well, thank you so much. Yeah, it's not bad for 2021 me trying to stitch on linen for the first time. I will say, though, having to um, learn, I think, stitching on linen, I think this was my first attempt at using a scroll frame. There were a lot of firsts with this that probably maybe that wasn't the best project to make a first out of, but I don't think it's such a bad deal. But this one, this, you're asking about this Autumn Cat. I think this is actually really, um, there's actually a bit more there too. Um, this is actually really small. Like, I think this is the left edge. I mean, I think it's only like this big, like it's a little square, like this big, but that cat is like all, <laughs> it's all fill in. So that cat's going to take a while, but it's all these little, motifs around him so and I think this is the bottom so I think this is a really small size wise small project I just think it's um a lot a lot of stitches um and then the hundred owls of course is is it's not massive but it is much 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 bigger and it's but the nice thing about it is and I've got a bit more of this I could show too because I know I did that entire tree that's everything that I did there but this one again like this is this is center this is kind of towards the top I think there's another like row of owls above that but you know other than these one or two big motifs everything on this one is like little you know little owls here and there so hopefully you know you just kind of chip away at these especially when you get a hankering for wanting to stitch something I wanted to see if I could find the owl or the autumn cat when I started that one because I want to say I started that one last year but I may have started it at the end of 2021 maybe for some reason I thought autumn cat was on my whip go board but maybe not I don't want to spend too long looking through this because I know this thing is a mess. I was trying to decide before coming on here if I wanted to go in the order of my journal from the very beginning and then that way I could kind of keep track. Okay, so I think I think that autumn cat or the I have it written here as fall cats. I think this is it. I think I started that on June no, May 14th, 2021. So that is a couple of years old. Um, but yeah, I was debating whether to start at the beginning of my journal and then pull things out, but I didn't know that I could find them as easily as doing it this way, just pulling them out and then finding them in my journal. So hopefully this works okay. So that is that one. So those are definitely keepers, except for Alice. I'm not sure about Alice. And I've got so many kits in here that are not even, nothing's been started yet. I kind of mentioned at the very, very beginning that if I get around to it, 
and I want to um, cover, if I have some time left, which I don't think I am, I'm almost an hour into this already, <laughs> that um, I might pull out some of the kits. So this all is, oh my goodness gracious, all of my Valentine stitching from a couple of years ago. There's that one, which I have not finished. This has been on my whip go a couple of times now. That, of course, is hands-on design, Waffle Lot. That's the front, and you see how close I trimmed it, so it's definitely not getting finished as a pillow. <laughs> um, it's, um, I'm definitely doing the DMC conversion. But I don't know where all of my colors are because I've got this bag has got all of my Valentine's stuff in it. I think last year or the year before last, I opted or I decided I was going to do all of my Valentine's smalls together. So I've got this lumped up together. I don't think that goes with that. I've got this lumped together. I don't think that goes with that. It might be these right here because there's the green. Nobody, but this is Be My Boo from Top Knot Stitcher. Then these were a bunch of little hands on design minis. I don't know if you know about her anniversary releases. So, yeah, I had this big piece of Ada. There's two more that she did right there. That one's not done, that one's got like another like motif below it, but yeah. So these are all my little Valentine's minis, and I think I did these for Valentine's Day. Um, like I was going to do like that entire week leading up to, or from the beginning of February, uh, leading up to Valentine's Day in 2021. So I did a waffle lot. I started February the 2nd. Top Knot Be My Boo started February the 8th. Um, I think all the other little ones, I just probably spun a wheel if I had to guess, if the wheel existed then, um, and just picked a different one each day. And I think that's what I did was every day I started one, um, leading up to Valentine's Day. So those are all my Valentine's stitches and they're all small. So I should be able to get them done. The only thing though is, honestly, honestly, honestly is, that Waffle Lot is really, really cute. I love her little pillow designs, Kathy Haberman's designs. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Nithya. I'm sorry I missed you before you left. Um, yes, this will definitely, definitely, definitely go on um, YouTube. I'll probably have to edit it a little bit. Um, for sure. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Um, but yeah, um, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So happy to see you for a couple of minutes. It was a pleasure, my friend. Um, so yeah, so Kathy Hopperman, um, she does all of these pillows and they're so cute. I actually have a couple of, um, the other ones. I think one of them I have is the coffee one, the Java one, cause I have the, um, the little pins that go in them and I have the meow one, the cat block one, but like this, I, um, this I think was part of a subscription box a long time ago, maybe. Um, and I love, I love the front for sure. Love the back, but I don't know that I, the pillow finish really isn't for me. And like I said, now that I've cut it up so close, to the edge it will either I'll either add fabric stitch fabric to it 
and frame it so it's got you know got fabric or um, do some kind of trim you know stitch some kind of trim around it or something um, but that's too close I think for a pillow finish um, at this point so I can't believe I cut it that close I must have had I know I had something else on oh I know what it was because I finished it was my we go together the bacon and eggs um, was right below it and I must have cut it that close there because the bacon and eggs finish I needed to be able to frame so I wanted to give myself enough margin I should have just paid more attention so this this stays in my little this was a Forbidden Fiber Co um, kit um, because I'll show you they released um, this heart trio so I put that you know this was the bag for that kit um, they also released one for um, March so that kit is in here as well but basically and I think these are the colors for the 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 February one so I just keep all my Valentine stuff in here together and it's just kind of a hodgepodge um, and I've definitely definitely um, been um, I need to keep or find a floss ring uh, for those really quick so I don't lose them anymore. Hold on a second guys, I'm going to rattle this bag and it's good. not going to be pretty. Sorry. Get a binder ring and put all these on a binder ring really quick. Um, I may have, these may have come out because I may have pillaged or um, once I got done with a color that I didn't need anymore maybe or something. I don't know. That doesn't seem like the same color yellow to me. I wonder if I pulled that because I wanted something different or if it just looks that different. I know this is on white, but that's still, that's really golden yellow. Um, anyway, I do from time to time. And that is the other nice thing I'm hoping about Nati's Notions app is because once I start putting all of these in there, it will tell me where my DMC colors are and I can go find them. And that will be really, really nice. There are other apps that do that as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, and if I had, you know, been more organized or wanted to be more organized then, I think that would have been um, something that would have been useful to me. But now I kind of feel like now's the time, seize the moment um, to do those kinds of things. So I'm doing it now. Um, okay, so let's keep going here. What is it? It's almost 9 a.m. Okay, we got another hour of this and then I'm gonna take a break. But, okay, so don't know if you can tell by the colors. Probably not, because this would be the color that my giveaway what I'm going to pull out next. And this is kind of serendipitous because this is my cryptid sal and this is on i actually put it here this is an xjuice design 18 count ada called oil green and if anybody's been following social media here this week um we found out the witchy stitcher um also um I say also, in addition to Sage and Night Spirit Studio, but the Witchy Stitcher um, received a cancer diagnosis. So um, everybody's decided that in, in addition to stitching for Sage, we are also stitchy for Witchy. So this is, um, I actually still have the Nightcrawler, um, just that little portion of the pattern um, uploaded to my pattern keeper I have all the other parts saved but yeah so that is um where I am it's so silly is this another 2021 it is isn't it because 2022 was supernatural and I'm almost positive because I know I have 2022 also um pardon for the the notification on the phone but let me see if I can find when this started. I almost want to say this started at the 
one at the end of the year, but it was like later in the year. It seemed like it was a fall stitch. So maybe I need to look a little further out. June. Oh, Cryptid Sal found it. Started, yeah, August. Well, I say yep, yeah, but yeah, August 1st, 2021 is when we started. And I think there was like a release. Um, she released one of these every every week or every two weeks. I can't remember now, but yeah, that's as far as I got. I got the border done far enough that I could, you know, kind of find my place and then started. And that's as far as I got, but that's definitely another one I want to keep going. And that's not one I, there were a couple of times that I debated, did I want to, um, did I want to, um, make them into smaller finishes but no I think I'm gonna stick with the larger I actually really do kind of like that larger um larger finish the um and I do have the supernatural so we'll see how that goes so there's that did I start on this one at all maybe I did barely so I think this was oh my goodness yes but you can barely even see it so this is oh my goodness gracious y'all are not even going to be able to see this so this was or is a <laughs> if y'all can even make out those stitches oh my goodness I don't think I have a cover photo of this so maybe in editing if I can I will go in and edit. But this is Bendy Stitchy's um, Winter. Ooh, there's a pair of scissors in there. Look at that. This was a kit. It was a Forbidden Fiber Co. kit with um, some mystery, uh, mystery stitch along with, um, and Michelle Garrett designed it. I think the trim came with it. Yeah, trim came with it as well. And I think the this was the needle minder that came with it. But then, um, these are the colors. But the only one I've used so far is this one. What is this called? Diamond. Okay, so this was definitely, I'm going to say winter 2021. Oh, yeah, y'all can just barely make that out. Can you tell that this is sparkly? Kind of, maybe, sort of. But this was definitely 2021, like Christmas, or, you know, end of the year, winter 2021. Let me see if I can find it, though. because this wouldn't have been last winter. Um, but I think we would have received this. In enough time. Well, I may not have written this one down. Well, that stinks. Because I know this wasn't, I know this wasn't last year because I know I remember last year. The only other thing I could think is if this was 2020, but that can't be right. This has to be 2021. I'm almost positive. I just didn't write any of it down. Any of it. And that's okay. Um, but anyway, so it was a, a mystery sale. We got a, or we, it was an advent. So we opened a different paper, um, a different part of the pattern each day and then with it like you would get the pattern and then you get the floss you get the pattern and then you get the floss um i like those scissors i like those scissors out for using um but yeah so that was basically the way that worked um and that's as far as i got i'm going to say that was probably the first week's probably not even even the full first week of stitching but i got it started um i think since then michelle has released it a couple more times maybe as a um roxy floss co conversion and i know for sure a cosmo conversion but then probably maybe maybe there's a dmc in there somewhere too but the reason why i know for sure the cosmo as a matter of fact because I don't know where it is, but the little, um, 
I don't want to show the pattern, but the little, um, the little, um, animals that are like dressed up for the Yule party are in another, she did like a little Cosmo set that you could buy. that you could buy from her uh, shop that had the Cosmo conversion, but it was, but they were smalls. I'm going to see if they're in here really quick. So there are a couple of these that I know have stuff of hers in them too. I have so many so many bags and whatever, whatever, whatever. It's ridiculous how much I've got. And not only that, but it's ridiculous how much I've got, um, you know, tucked away in different places and I don't know where everything is. And is it here? Maybe we'll just do a, a bendy stitchy uh, run through really quick because I've got a bunch of her stuff in here for sure. So this is, I can't find those Cosmo ones unfortunately. This is my in spring, and this is on my list on my arbitrary August wheel. This was another Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, stitch along. This was um, for a spring um, release, or not Forbidden Fiber Co., sorry, a fi uh, Fangirl Fibers spring release. Um, if you know anything about the story of Hades and Persephone, that's what this is, um, and I am so close to a finish, honestly. It's just the bottom of this pomegranate, and then the, there's a couple more flowers here, but then the, um, the, um, I think it's Hades kind of, um, little symbol, like his, his, him there with the crown. Um, but this is Forbidden Fiber Co. Uh, fabric. This is a 28 count even weave called the Underworld. This is all of their colors um, along with the acrylic um, floss drops. I mean this whole kit came together. The little needle minder, Persephone needle minder. Um, but yes, this was, I want to say this was probably spring last year. Well, I, this might be 2021 too and the reason why I say that is because this may have been on my whip go last year. And May is over there crying. But I don't know if I wrote this one down either, honestly. Some of these, I feel like these stitch-alongs or kits or whatever, I, I forget to write them down when I start them. Um, and especially when I have the all of the stuff kind of together. Like I could probably go back and find it like in my individual um, journals as far as, um, you know, my calendar journals, but I don't know that I could find it in Oh, okay. Fangirl Bendy Spring Sal Kit. My start was March 21st, 2022. So this was a 2022 start. So yeah, but this is on my, I think this is on my WIPGO board for this year, but it is also on my Arbitrary August wheel for sure. So that, I definitely, it's, it's really close to a finish. My Arbitrary August, if you didn't see my video um, that I posted yesterday, August the 5th, um, my Arbitrary August, everything that I put on that wheel is either a a uh, small saff or something that I started and needs to be or can be finished that has less than um, 
5,000 stitches. So that is what that is. Okay, so this is, I don't know why I've got extra fabric in here, but I do. That's really strange. But this is My Lady Man, also by Michelle Bendy. Uh, this was the kit purchased through Evertote. Um, so this is the conversion from the DMC. Um, basically, uh, Roxy Flosco Evertote converted the colors as best they could, you know. Um, there's my little kip. My little kip needle minder. This one I think was also kind of a stitch along. It wasn't like a formal one, but an informal one. Because I think everybody, um wanted to stitch it together when it came out and I wanted to see if I could find because this is a fairly not recent release but this is probably you know within the last year but that's the um, fabric I use Fortnite fabrics 32 count linen called overcast and this is what I got in the habit of doing. If I had a, a fabric that had a card with it, I tried to keep it with the, so that way I knew what I was stitching on if I ever brought it out to show. So yeah, so I started this April 23rd of 2022. And this has definitely been on, uh, or is on my, or yeah, I think maybe this is on my whip go this year. But again, it's not, um, but also in this bag, I have, um, this is, and Michelle just talked about this on her floss tube the other day. This is the two, uh, flamingos. Hold on a second. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry, y'all. <coughs> okay. The two flamingos, the kit, the set. And I think I pulled these are ornament cuts, Fortnite fabric ornament cuts that I think I was going to stitch that on, but that hasn't been started yet. So obviously that's a, that's a good cute up sal. Um, item but those are kept together I try to keep I'm getting better about keeping whips by designers either all in the same bag if I can or like the Valentine one is a good example that was all um it wasn't the same designer but it was all you know Valentine related whatever so that way I can keep track of tracking those things a bit easier and I'm sorry y'all are not sorry but I don't know if y'all can hear May in the background she really wants in. Poor baby. Poor, poor, poor baby. But she's not getting in right now. Okay, here we go. More Michelle Bendy. <laughs> I know I have them somewhere. This. These are, and I can't, again, can't show you because it was basically the Cosmo set. Yikes, which I can't find the, oh, here they are. It was the entire set of Cosmos, and this is the fabric I'm using, Fortnite Fantasy 32 Count Linen, but they are, um, kind of show you briefly, very, very briefly, but she had redesigned her Yule Ball characters in Cosmo. There you go. So. Um, so that's what I ended up doing was, um, starting that on this. And I need to take it off this Q-snap. It doesn't need to be on this Q-snap because it'll probably be a little while. And I found these kind of cute. I'm hoping with the colors, they'll kind of match, um, be cute little ornaments maybe. Um, 
but I have those and those I just started like she released those sometime last year but um because she sent this little cute little card so I've got it in here so yes uh December of 2023 like I started them right before the holidays last year so that is that I definitely need to get that off the Q snap though because that's not um should probably actually try to stitch them on a hoop if I could help it but um but there is that that makes me feel better that I found those at least that's nice okay I'm trying to think if there's anything else of hers there probably is but I don't know where or what and as I get to them I will get to them um I'm trying to look at a couple of these bags to see if I can figure out what else is here okay so let's just go just pulling stuff out of that bin and then I realized or that yeah the bin and then I realized I got sidetracked here so we're gonna have to kind of roll with it and see what else is in here okay so this is all kitted up stuff I'm gonna keep that for later if we have time which I don't think we will maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a separate separate one of these maybe in another week or something this is another kitted up okay Ooh, shoot sorry y'all that was kind of loud that was because it was I had paper up against the zipper that's another kit I don't think I've started that okay this I know what oh nope that's another kit I thought there was something else but no that's another kit Y'all are hearing a lot of zippers. I'm really sorry for that. Oh, here's another bendy. Since we're here. So if you all remember the um, cryptid box that I think um, uh oh, I put that back. Uh the cryptid box that, um, who did it? I don't remember now. I've already forgotten. But it was all a bunch of different little patterns, but Michelle had um, a couple of these. Oh, fangirl fibers. There we go. Whew. Give me a minute there. Because I'm starting to see the, the um, but Michelle had her little cryptids along with um these are the stitch crypt had a couple of cryptids and there are a bunch of um different um needle minders and uh really cute floss acrylic floss drops but anyway i actually started michelle's chupacabra so there is that. I didn't get, I mean, I maybe got, I'm going to say probably a third because all of that is all fill in. And the other thing was, so I can't remember, I think maybe it came with the variegated, but I think maybe I chose the Roxy Floss Co. But yeah. So there's that. I definitely want to finish that. I probably ought to put this on my um, arbitrary August. That would be a good arbitrary August spin because I don't think that one would take very long. I just don't know stitch count, so I don't know how many <laughs> how many more stitches I have to do. But there aren't very many in there. I'm actually gonna put that up over here so I kind of remember. Okay, so there's that. Finally went through that bag, and there were a couple more behind me that I kind of forgot about, so I'm gonna quickly go through them these are very 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 recent oh and the chupacabra i started very recently too i wonder if i can find it in here yeah i just started it on october 25th of 2022 so actually it's almost been a year it's been 10 months that's for sure um so there is that so next, I will show you, this is very recent as well. This was the Terzina Initiative. Gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's only four colors. 
um, during editing, if I can remember, I will put up the um, kind of photo for it because it's um, it was a PDF or a you know a digital pattern only. I wanted to see if I could find when I started it. It seemed like it was at the very towards the very 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 end of the year, but I don't remember um, because it was. Um, It was, they released it like in four or five parts every week during Ramadan. So maybe, hold on a second, I might be able to tell you. I started it way too late, um, but I was going to look and see if I could find. I didn't write it down. I was going to see if I could find when I started my... Um, my Pixel Pixie socks from Hawaii Bazaar, but that, I don't think I started those at the same time. I mean, that's a knitting thing, I know, but I don't remember when I started this, but that, that was fairly, fairly, fairly recent. Um, everything else I've got on here is... Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, good. Um, so April 9th is when I started it, but I know it started, like I said, I know the first release was like the first Friday of Ramadan. I'm almost positive. Um, and the first release was like the star, I think, um, and then like the outline. Um, so I didn't get nearly as far as I would have liked, and I wanted to do it um, during those five weeks. And so I feel terrible about that. Maybe I'll pick it back up. Um, the next April. I'm not sure. I need to look and see how many stitches are in that because I don't think I'll pull it for arbit or put it on my arbitrary August wheel, but, but it is one of those that's a pretty quick stitch. Um, and it's all in pattern keeper, which is nice. I just don't know. Um, I just don't know what. when I get around to it, basically. Sorry, I know y'all are hearing a bunch of shifting. Okay, so this, and please forgive me for this. This is, so if you were a part of, and the reason why I say please forgive me is because of how I'm keeping it, which is absolutely terrible. Um, this is, if you were part of the Holiday Countdown box with, um, Roxy Flosco and Modern Folk Embroidery and Evertote. They had each, um, you know, countdown every day in the month of December, um, different colors. And like I said, you're going to hate me when you see this. This is my countdown stitch. Can you believe this? I've got this all wadded up. I need to take this out, but that was my finish. But... And I can't remember, have I gone on here what the fabric is? But I finished this. I finished the countdown sampler. God help me, in the month of December. I'm the worst, y'all. Look at that. That's terrible. I should not be keeping that like that. Because this is literally sat. I need to take this out right now. This is literally sat in that since December. So I did the entire countdown, the entire month of December. And then I took with me, because the last few um, days of stitching, I needed to be able to, I'm taking this out, y'all. This is, this is embarrassing. Okay, hold on a second. Um, the last few days of stitching, please, 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 if anybody from any of those companies, if Jacob, I don't know if Jacob doesn't watch this, but if anybody else happens to ever see this, please don't tell them that I kept that like that. That's just absolutely atrocious. Hold on a second here. I gotta set that down. Okay. So, oh, look at that. I'm gonna have to iron those wrinkles out. Um, but it was the Panatone. I just was trying to find the count. I don't think I got, I must, I'm almost positive I got the 36, but I don't think that's the 32. 
on the um, I didn't write it down holy moly I can't believe I didn't write it down okay well I'm almost positive I got the 36 count because that was probably the smallest but but what I started to do was we got a bonus chart dream of a winter garden from Jacob and I'm going to start this over again I, I really am um I was going to do it one over one but the problem was because this I should have known better I did not do, need to do full crosses I should have known to only do 10 stitches which that was my first mistake my second mistake was um I should not have I started on December 26th, so the day after Christmas, basically. Um, yeah, I started to do it one over one, um, but I did full cross. And I think in trying to keep track of the, because you can see there's spots here, like trying to keep track of the number of stitches and counting was a nightmare on tiny, tiny fabric. Now, I might go back. I might and see if I can, um, if I really, really, really want to continue doing this. Oh my goodness. I think, I think May's trying to break in y'all. I can't believe I did that to my pattern. That's just awful. I need to do something with this. I mean, I need to iron it, but I need to figure out what I want to do with the finish. Um, but I think I'm going to start over with my, um, dream of a winter garden only because um yeah it's just it's just um I think the one over one was great at the time and I remember stitching at my in-laws house um over the holidays and it was so much fun but I also remember it being so tiny and it was like I'm like um uh, I was um, kind of torturing myself. That was not fun. So I think I'm gonna start that one over. So that's probably gonna come out of the whip pile and into the, I will do that later, start over later pile. Okay, we talked about that. Let me really quick, a couple more, more recent ones that I will talk about real quickly are, um, just for grins, I will show my Memento Mori again. This is definitely staying on the whip pile. I need to definitely get this one in. This is uh, Roxy Flosco conversion, and I just started this one in June. And this is that 32 count uh, midnight, midnight alchemy, I think. Is that what it's called? Starlight, Starlight Alchemy, Midnight Visitor, 32 count. It was part of a box. So that one's definitely going, definitely need to put that one in the whip. Um, it's a large pattern though. I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm not in any kind of real hurry, but definitely need to add that to the whip list for sure. Um, let's see what else I've got in here. A couple more <laughs> bendy stitchy things if you want. This one actually is, okay, so this, this one bag, which I've only got the one stitch. There's a bunch of other things though in here that are, um, I've got two bag, two bags actually, but this is the only one I've actually, I, this is on my arbitrary August wheel. This is the Hildy Strawberry. Um, I don't know if you all, who watch this um, channel regularly. I was doing Leo and Roxy Floss or Roxy Flosco conversions of a lot of Michelle's um, charts um, and I kind of got into a real uh, got really going with it back in like um, the second half of last year. So the Hildy Strawberry I started July 10th, July 10th. Okay. Um, 
and that's on an ornament cut of, of Fortnite Fabrics ornament cut, so I don't have a color name for you, but that was that. But in addition, I had pulled, and I've got conversion, um, like fabric and floss for Needle Heathen, and try to make sure I pull this out and I don't pull stitch always and several of her um, she's got this whole series of like I did January basket but there's a couple of other little smalls related to that but then I've also got or this is her like latest larger release as a part of that with the same color scheme um, so I bought a bunch more floss for that um, so these are all kind of together and sorry that kind of went against my I'll show you kits later rule but they're all here together as part of my Bindi Stitchy um, Roxy Flosco conversion. So, but Hildy Strawberry is definitely on my August, arbitrary August um, um, what am I trying to say? Arbitrary August wheel because it is so close to being done. I really, really, really want to get that done and you put all of these together because these are all similar uh, conversion things and that opens up, frees up a bag for later for me. Okay, so there's that. And I need to put this in a smaller bag somewhere so I don't forget because this can be done rather quickly. Okay, so, and then really quick, I actually have a few remaining um, Pixel Pixie did the Advent um, ornament sal last year and these were all the colors I pulled um I actually have I was say I cut enough squares so I it looks like I have six six left of those I need to do and of course those were done I think she released those every other day in 2022 so I'm thinking she started those in like October the end of October or maybe the beginning of November um, so I actually have a few of those left. I ought to put that on my arbitrary August because those will get done pretty quickly. Um, I don't see that one in here either. Oh, here we go. Yeah, uh, November 2nd was when the first one was released. Um, this was a, um, Fiberlicious Yummy, or no, sorry, Fangirl Fibers, um, um, Star Wars uh, fabric called Princess of Alderaan um, that I just used because um, it was a good um, nice um, Ada and then I was like I said I was using Forbidden Fiber but I was keeping all this together these are my orts <laughs> left over from my ornaments so as soon as I was done with all of them I had the extra ornament um, and if you saw um, I will admit to it now. If you watch my vlogs, um, my holo vlogs during um, December, you may have noticed when I was putting the calendar, the advent ornaments hanging them, a couple of them were repeats for this very reason because I was sick short and I didn't get them all done in time. So this needs to be finished. This ought to be an arbitrary August. Um, deal because this would be a good, like I said, a good short, quick finish. It would make me be, it would make me happy to have finished it. It would be great. So we will definitely do that for arbitrary August. Okay. So there's that. Let me do, I've got a couple more bags here on the floor. This, I feel terrible, well, not terrible, but I'm not quite sure what to do about this. So this is my <laughs> temperature birds that I started at the beginning of the year. And I'm not upset or mad about it, but I don't know. It's August, y'all. And I only got to like the first couple of days of February. Now, I know I can still do this for this year if I really, really want to. But that's as far as I got. So I don't know. 
Um, I don't want to unpick it. It's a lot of stitching. I mean, seriously, birds all the way around. Um, but I just don't know if I want to, in my mind, for a brief moment, I had considered um, putting this aside and seeing what the beginning of 2023 looked like. <laughs> I mean, 2024, sorry, this is 2023, 2024 look like, but I think, I mean, I really want to do this. I just don't know what to do about it. This was, it, I really, really kept up with this and I can't remember what happened in February that got me off track, but something did. And then I really got off track, but that's that. But that was started like right at the beginning. Well, actually, I think I started that like in December, um, started getting like the, um, the borders and stuff done so that way it was um the or the edge of the the telephone line done so that way I could you know I could get stay on top of it if you will so yeah give me give me your thoughts if anybody's watching this later on in the comments um I'm not opposed to finishing it like I said I've, I really kind of have gone back and forth about just pick it up just do you know do a few birds here and there and you get it caught up because I would but it's just I think the mental hurdle now is such that I don't know I'm not really I'm, I'm mentally I'm not there I haven't I haven't jumped over that hurdle yet I haven't climbed that wall okay y'all seen this a couple of times in previous like whip go whip go parades or whatever this is my made to create I'm not really sure what to do with this either. Um, this is still a lot of stitching. This is a 2021 Sal. Um, let me look and see if I can find it. Yeah, it was January 25th through June 25th was the Sal. Um, I started it on January 31st, 2021. And it's just a 14 count Ada, like out of the little tube box from like Michael's. Um, it's all DMC, um, which I... <laughs> I may have pillaged more than once for other things, um, but I just don't know what to do with it. It's really cute. Um, at one time I had, oh look, one of my DMC stickers is loose. That's lovely. Um, I knew I wanted to finish it last year. It was on my whip go. I definitely wanted to finish it. Um, and then that came and went, didn't get any more work done on it. It's a whole nother year now has passed it would did not go on my whip go board this year at the beginning of the year that's how much I really didn't want to do it what it what I think I did was I had done several whip go spaces that were spin the wheel and I created a whip go wheel of just things that I might like to work on I don't even know if this made the wheel I had an idea for what I wanted to do for this because I was going to give it as a gift to someone but now I'm not quite so sure. And I don't have much left. So it's the word create in, like this is the A, E, R, right? There's a C over here, T and E. There might be one or two more little motifs at the top. This tape measure is kind of probably gonna be the biggest hurdle to do. And then there's a couple more, you know, things down here at the bottom, but it's not a lot of stitching, but in trying to keep up with it at the time, I didn't have a whole lot of stitching I was working on. And now that I do, I have so many things, I'm not really sure. So we shall see. This is definitely one of those, um, it's gonna be put to the very, 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 very end. And if I decide that's what I wanna do is go back and work on this or finish this, or maybe something comes to me, an idea comes to me that, um, inspires me then yeah maybe maybe I'll go get back to it so but for now that's it is what it is okay so here are a couple of where are we at okay we got I wanted to be done in two hours we'll see how much more because there's a lot of this bucket left I haven't gone through but we're getting there a couple more um, modern folk embroidery these are um, the Roxy Flosco Evertote you know sets this is red berries both of these i think are on my whip go again this one i'm not close to being done but i i got quite a bit done this was on my whip go last year and this actually i met my whip go goal i don't remember what the whip go goal was it might actually be in here hold on y'all maybe i can't guarantee that but it might be in here 
I knew at one time I was keeping track of it in here as well. Yeah, okay, so this was my July Whip Go goal for 2022. And I gave myself a goal of 2,000 stitches. So I barely had anything. I had like, I want to say this top corner and like a um, little bit. Of so red berries, again, purchased as a kit from Evertote. It's a 36 count linen called Winter's Brew. And actually the sticker's still on there. That's kind of funny. Um, and I started it I must have started it sometime in um, August of 2021. I actually don't have a date on here, but it's in like that area, like things before it say August 1st and things after it say August 24th. So I'm going to say in that, in that time frame. So I started it sometime in August of 2021. So there's that one. And then also in the same bag, I have another. And this one, I actually, I bought the kit to this as well, but um, I went and bought, went back and bought the um, PDF. So the kit came with the paper chart. So I don't know, I don't know where it is, it's put away somewhere. But the, I also bought the PDF because this was the one, what is this called? Rule of Life, I think. This is the one that Jacob was selling um, as a fundraiser for the, the people that were affected by the drought in India, I believe. The, um, so this was... Um, also started in 2021 and again on my whip go board for 2022 I did not get it was supposed to be a page finish and I did not get that far um I wanted to see when I bought this one because this one's pretty this is I think honestly one of the first if not the first kit that I bought um because this is the old Leo and Roxy Yarn Company um, tags. I wanted to see if I could find... Oh yeah, because I actually... This is an 18 count Picture This Plus Ada... Or 16 count Ada Picture This Plus called Ancient. Um, but again, I don't have the date on here. But I'm going to say this was started... In probably May of 2021, because I have other things around it. That are May 15th, May 30th, um, May 4th, May 21st. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to say this is probably started in May of 2021. So, these are definitely two of my favorite... Um, all of them, honestly, all of Jacob's patterns are my favorite, but these two in particular um, were my first, so they're definitely my favorite. Um, and I definitely want to get these done. Like I said, I think both of these are on my whip go board again this year. Not that I'm actively doing that, but I need to remember the red birds might be something, or red berries might be something that um, might work for arbitrary August, so I should probably keep that in mind, keep that out. Okay, so we've got about 13 minutes left and I don't think the entire rest of this bin is whips. I think some of these are kits, but we'll go through as many as I can. Y'all would be surprised. This really is kind of helping me because a lot of what these are, so like I'll show you this as an example. I bought a long time ago, I would buy just about every Forbidden Fiber Co. kit. This is, um, this is a kit. 
This is a kit. This is a kit. But none of these have been started. So, um, but they're all in here together. Leanne does a really good job. This is a kit. This is a kit of making these, um, um, you know, entire kits, project bags, and everything. And so I've just gotten in the habit, or I've just dumped them, you know, as I get them, I open them up, put them in the box. So what I need to really do is find a way to, or I have another like scrapbook size box. So what I think I need to do is um, go through and put them in a separate box by themselves. So that way I know that they are kits. But here, is another Al Forced Embroidery. This was an actual kit purchase that I mentioned earlier when Nithya was here. This is, and I'm trying to do it without showing you because the paper pattern, they give you the actual paper pattern. But that's all I've done on it. And now that I'm, I think at the time, this dark linen really frustrated me. But I think now this is truly like if y'all ever get their kits this is this is what their kits look like i was gonna look and see i can't remember what this one's called though it's like winter something but they you know they break these up into motifs so you don't have to stitch everything you know like it's broken up into pages where you just do a bit of time here and there, which I absolutely love. I was trying to see if I could find the box because the box would show you the picture. But I don't know where that is either. But it's, um, let me see if I can find it in my journal because the journal might tell me. But I remember purchasing it online. Um, And it was the first kit that I bought. So people were buying these Alforest embroidery kits and we're talking about how great they were. And I just wasn't sure because you were purchasing them from overseas and I didn't know how long it was going to take, whatever, whatever. So I just always hesitated and I always just like stuck to the, the freebies. Um, but then this one just really 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 I really 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 wanted to do this one so I started it and I can't remember um, I want to say I got this in 2021 because I don't think I started this in 2022 but I do not see this anywhere in my Oh, yes, it's called Evenings on a Farm in Radonka or something like It's a town, you know, a small village or something in over there. Um, but yes, I did start it in 2021, and it looks like it was started in May. I don't have the date, the specific day, but they were all listed with, um, I had like four or five on the list, um, the hundred owls, evenings on a farm, the Alice Sal, several. So I think they were all started about the same time. So I wanted to see if I had it written down anywhere else. 524. That's when I started it. So that is that. Um, but the fabric, fabric came from them, from Al Forest, the, the needle minder which is one of the motifs, the little um, house. And then that's pretty much all I did. But I do remember starting this and I was, this was my first time stitching on this kind of linen, really dark linen. And I was like, this is probably, if I had to guess, a 32. I don't think they, well, they might've sold 28. If they sold 28, I might've bought a 28. But I'm gonna say it's probably a 32. Um, but the dark linen, I didn't have a grasp of how to stitch on dark linen. I do now. 
Um, cause I think at the time also I was stitching in hand a lot and I think that was kind of my, not downfall, but the thing that was kind of, um, making it difficult for me. So, um, but I definitely want to keep working on that one for sure. Um, especially now that I know how to better manage, um, linen and how to stitch on linen better. Um, this one actually... So this is a whip, but this is um, my own. This isn't anything that, um, how do I put this? This isn't anything that, um, this isn't a pattern that I bought or anything like that. This is actually a um, something that I designed when Arna and Carlos did their Easter um, knit Easter eggs. And I want to say this was in 2021. I took the knitted charts and was stitching <laughs> um, the eggs as cross stitch. I wish I could find it in here. I know I wrote it down in here because it was, um, but this was like during the spring. But I wanted to see if I could find the fabric because I think I wrote down the fabric because it's just a um, a linen a scratchy kind of linen and I don't think I left the um, label on it anywhere so I thought well maybe I put the label in my because sometimes I do that a lot where I will take especially if it's a um, a uh, sticker um, I'll stick it in my journal kind of like kind of like these right here um, so that's kind of what I'm looking for is a sticker um, but I don't see it in here anywhere what else what else what else and I don't think I did this in 2022 I think this was a 2021 but maybe this one oh no that's the crochet along I saw Arna and Carlos and I got excited but that was something completely different I'm almost positive I did these in 2021 I just don't see and I'm almost positive it was, you know, during the Easter spring, springtime. I just don't see anything that suggests. When I started them, I feel like I'm missing a page or something. And I, I it's not that I'm missing a page, but it's like when I look at 2021 it goes from it says January through March which that's not wrong <laughs> January through March and then the next page is April through April and May but it goes from March 1st start to an April 30th start so it's like I feel like there's like a whole month in there but maybe I was a little more particular about my starts <laughs> That's silly. I'm being silly at this point. But yeah, I don't see um, them in here. I would, ha I guess I would have to look and see when they released those egg patterns. But anyway, so this was just basically, this was my design. Um, or I mean, my, my reimagining, if you will, of their design. Um, and I think there were a dozen. Actually, there may have been 13, a baker's dozen. Um, but that's what I was doing. I was basically just charting them um, on like paper and then, um, found some Forbidden Fiber Co. bright colors that I thought looked really good. And there's that. So that's not really a whip per se. That's just a, I don't know, a, a, I don't know what the word is. A, you know, a design, my first attempt at maybe dipping my feet into design by 
but by starting with someone else's. <laughs> Some other craft, you know, dabbling cross crafting. Okay, so y'all should recognize this. This is the Walk Fast um, sampler by Lindy Stitches. Well, you may not be able to tell um, because I don't have the. <laughs> Again, it's another digital. And this was started, of course, um, when Betty White passed away um, at the end of, or I was gonna say at the end of 2021. I can't remember. She either passed away December 31st or January 1st of 2022, but I wanna say it was New Year's Eve. Of December uh, December 31st of 2021 but anyway so everybody decided to get this out because of course um, Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches used a Rose Nyland quote which was Rose Nyland was character that um, Betty White played on Golden Girls um, so this is on a Fortnite Fabrics 36 count called Ernest um, I did a Forbidden Fiber Company conversion and um started it on january 17th so that i think that was about the time everybody was getting it out um and i remember i think stephanie webb had just done a floss tube like a week or so later talking about how all of a sudden this this pattern became really popular and she wasn't really sure why like it didn't dawn on her as to why <laughs> and then she went back and looked and realized oh they were all buying it to do for you know but anyways, that's definitely a whip I want to continue, but it's in its very early stages. So that's going to stay like that for now. This is, oh, and this is a very small start. And I'm not entirely sure I know which direction is up. I think this is the bottom left corner of... Holy cow, hold on y'all. I'm like trying to figure out because I forgot how to show this. Okay, I think this is the bottom corner of Meditation Garden by Jan Hicks. And this I actually um, she, she had a giveaway on her floss tube many moons ago, and I was chosen. I was selected, so I actually won the chart. So, it is digital, so I don't have the paper copy to show you. Um, but I started this, like, right after, right, right, right after she... Um, sent it to me. So this is 32 count, 32 count ghost story by Fortnite Fabrics and I did a Forbidden Fiber Co. Com, uh, conversion. I wanted to see. I started this. This is just last year. I'm almost positive. June 15th is when I started this, 2022. So that is my little start of that. So I'm really excited. This was this was a thrill for me. This is one of the few things I've ever, ever, ever won, um, like giveaway wise. And I remember <laughs> distinctly because when she, um, she did this, you know, it's the whole thing of, you know, hey, I'm, you know, giving away a pattern. Um, I think the deal was she was just giving away a couple of patterns like not the, necessarily this specific one but her deal or what she had mentioned was hey you know tell me tell me what um what you know what of uh what pattern if you were to you know win something what pattern of mine you would like to win and why and and this one i'd always 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 loved and had had 
every intention of buying eventually down the road. Um, just wasn't something again because it was a digital pattern. I knew I could go out and get it whenever. Um, unless, you know, she announced that she was no longer um, <laughs> going to sell it or something like that. I would go out and get it. But I told her, I was like, oh, this is the one I would get and this is why. And so she said, well, you're the winner. Um, so I, um, I was so tickled. Um, but I remember distinctly that um, I had uh, used the word, I think, win, or if I, you know, yeah, if I were to win this pattern or something, I remember deleting my comment and then redoing it because I didn't want her to get trolled by people. So that was one of those um, kind of interesting moments. Okay, so this is another Forbidden Fiber Co. conversion. I'm not sure. You know what, y'all? I don't know enough about this pattern to know. Okay, I think this is top right. Gosh, sorry, this is so wrinkled. But this is um, Sarcy Girl. This one I started fairly recently. I started this right after. Um, this is Little Sarcy Witch, but it had the descent, um, has the witch that has the, uh, RBG collar and the word descent on it, but this was started on June 26th. This was right after, um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away. So this was my start for that. Um, this is on a 32 count B stitch me called gun metal. I don't know where the card is. It ought to be in here, but it's not for some reason. Um, and then, uh, a little bit of DMC, it looks like, and then the rest is all forbidden fiber co conversion. So there's that. Sorry. I'm looking, I, I've got the video up. So I kind of wanted to make sure I could show you because I know that's really a really, really dark fabric. Make sure you could see the stitching. So there's a little bit of a start on that. Um, that will be one definitely I'll get back out um, anytime I'm feeling rather radical or feeling like I need to do some activist um, type stitching there. But that's definitely one that I want to keep for sure. And then... Oh my goodness, y'all. We're about halfway through this bucket. I wonder if I do for one more hour, maybe. One more hour. Let's see how far, much farther we can get. Okay, so this is Ruskin's Penguins. Again, another kit purchased through Evertote. Um, Roxy Floss Co. Conversion. Um, I am stitching this on a picture this plus crystal aerial it's a 14 oh sorry 28 count cashel linen and it's sparkly and if you can tell maybe I'm beating the single um, crosses that are in the pattern as opposed to actually um, stitching them so let me see if I can find this one. This is an older one too, obviously by the tags. But I can't remember what um, prompted, it may have just been I just, I got it in the mail and was ready to start it. Okay, so this is another one that, um, it's been on my whip go board a couple of times and as a matter of fact, when it was on my whip go board last year, I think it was like, all I had was like a page finish and I got that done. So I actually met that goal last year. So, but I, it's got a long way to go. Um, but yes, this was probably in the July, August range of 2021 when I originally started this. Um, I don't have the exact date again, but it is, um, it is in that range and I definitely want to finish this. I'm, I love, I love these so much. Um, 
I love Jacob's patterns, but I love these ones where, you know, they're just so bright and cheery and happy and that kind of thing. This was another one that has been on my WhipGo board um, I, last year, and then I don't know that I put it on there this year. It may be on my wheel, um, but this is the Game of Thrones um, uh, I Cross Stitch and I Know Things by um, Steno Stitch, which I haven't seen them around a lot lately. Um, I know it's a husband of wine. Um, like I think he designs and then she would do like the, the, um, model stitching for him. Um, and she would do a floss tube from time to time, but I don't know. Um, I haven't seen them lately, so I hope they're doing well. I wanted to see if I could find it. Uh, the GOT Sal looks like there was a sal um that was started on uh may 1st of 2021 and that's a 32 count antique white linen that i probably bought from fire poppies when they were still around um online so there's that and i would like to get back to that one i don't think that one's a very big um stitch it's all 310 except for a little bit of um what is this 169 um so that that would definitely be one that would be kind of a quick finish um but it's not really one that i've been um thinking about or wanting wanting to go go back to or anything like that Definitely, apparently, got a couple more Jacob kits here. Modern folk embroidery kits that haven't been started yet. And that's okay. This is, and I haven't started a single one of these, I don't think. I've tried to start over and over and over again. But these are all my Bird Crush Club. All 12 of them in a, in a bag. Um... This is back when, um, shoot, let me just take it out of the box for, or bag first. Um, Stitch Life Mag, back when they existed, they don't exist anymore. I think a couple of their members have tried to go out on their own and design, and um, I don't know if they're still doing that or not, but. This is um, Need Some Space. This was a May 4th, um, May the 4th Be With You um, kit. This was 2021 for sure, because I know this was on my 2022 um, It looks like I started it on May the 4th, um, because it was on my 2022 Whip Go. And it is all DMC, but it also came with finishing fabric and um, one of these. And I went out and bought the other one. It may came with this one. I went out and bought that one because the company that they got the needle minders from, um, basically, um, they said, you know, if you if you're interested, here's the here's the company, and you can go get. You know, there were like four, and they were random. You know, random in each box and basically said if you like any of the other ones you can go out and get get yourself the other three or whatever you want so did that um that's another leo and roxy or roxy flosco kit okay so this is my pacific northwest stitch summit bag and i did start one of the two um, patterns that was gifted to us and or kitted up for us which I started the um, Lindy Stitches one the uh, Beachcomber and it looks like most of it is DMC with one dinky dies and a couple of classic color works 
So that was my start on that. And I started, so I did the virtual retreat. So I started, that's what I got done at the retreat, um, which isn't bad. Um, it's a, it's a pretty big pattern though, as you can see, like all of that whale, there's a lot of stitching. Um, but yeah, I really, really like all the little motifs and I like, uh, Stephanie Webb, I like her design. Um, elements but the other one that did come with this also though was the one from this was the one where um, Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower and I think she now is getting ready to release this out to the public so I it's been about a year probably um, so there's that so yeah this is definitely one that I want to keep and continue to stitch then this is, oh, this is one of my favorites that I need to get back out and stitch. This is my Bushland Quaker number two by Mojo Stitches, Take Wing. This is being stitched on a Fortnite Fabric Ada. And I love this so much. I love these birds so much. So that's what I've got done. That's the top, that's the left, that's the bottom. Um, but you can kind of see, I've got one more Quaker over here to do. I've got the big cranes in the middle, this one here, the flowers here, and then the, the birds down at the bottom. Um, this one is DMC, even though, uh, you know, Mojo Stitches does, um, cottage garden threads also. Um, but I'm doing this on a 16 count Thelma and Louise. That's a Fortnite Fabrics, um, fabric. So there's that. And yes, this is definitely one that needs to be finished because I'm so close to a finish. And I still have a whole other half of the fabric too, which is good for something else. Maybe if I do another Bushland Quaker, I could do it on the other piece, other half, especially if they're about the same size. Um, that would be amazing. So that one I definitely wanna keep. Y'all should see my floor. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's a mess. Oh, here's another. <laughs> this is a whip, but this is my own whip. This is a, if y'all have seen, or if you're watching this channel, I think it's part of this channel's um, logo. The, uh, the picture for my channel, but this is a Quaker apple that I designed and I'm using Leo and Roxy uh, colors. Um, not that it's going to be released to the public or anything, but I just wanted to do it. Um, but I haven't finished it. And it's kind of a small, maybe I should put that on my arbitrary August, but that's there. Um, but that is my, my own design. That's something that I was, um, kind of messing around with, a uh, software that I've got on my iPad. Um, that was kind of fun. Um, some of these things, I really don't know what, like there's floss in this bag, but I don't know what it's for. I actually, I think I know what it's for. I just haven't, um, I think it's for a, um, one of those mini artwork. It's a Frida Kahlo and I just haven't started it, so it's just in there together. Okay, so this is Mojo Stitches No Mud No Lotus. This is a, hmm, interesting, apparently a slice of fabric in here. Um, 32 count x Design Bunny, and this is a DMC, again, since Mojo Stitches does a lot of college garden threads, this is a DMC conversion, but this is, you're going to notice I changed up a little bit of the pattern and I'll kind of explain why. I may go back and pick this out and I'll explain that as well. So if you notice the word Lotus is in purple and so last year during Stitch for Pride, D um, introduced us to an organization that was for black trans folks that is actually based here in 
the DFW area. They were over in Richardson, I think, or maybe Carrollton. Anyway, their organization's symbol was the lotus, the lotus flower in purple. And so, um, you know, part of the the message behind this saying, no mud, no lotus, means if you don't get dirty, you don't see, you know, you, you, um, if you don't get dirty, you don't, don't get down in the dirt, you don't see the results of your hard work, which is the flower, the, the lotus. So, um, my intention or original intention was to incorporate, because their logo was purple, a purple lotus flower, I was going to incorporate that into this as kind of a tribute. But since then, I've gone back to try to donate to their organization a couple of times, um, and I cannot find them anymore. So I don't know what has happened to them. I don't know if they dissolved, if they moved, if they um, reorganized and changed names. I'm not sure. So I think I'm probably going to pull the purple out. Fortunately, that's all I did was just the, um, just the word. There's not, this is not a very big pattern. I mean, this is a pretty small piece and it's going to fit. I mean, that's not quite half, but that's pretty close to halfway. Um, but I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, with this just yet. I do like the idea of framing it, but I did start this, um, on March 5th, 2022. Um, and just that, that's, I think this is the only stitching I did was when I started it in March. I just haven't gotten back to it since then. So, um, but I definitely want to finish it. I just need to decide, um, or go back and pull out the purple first and then, um, and then yeah, continue on. So that one I absolutely love. And this is one that I had my eye on for a very long time. Um, and then D's, um, or I've had, I guess I should say, in my, in my, um, you know, my patterns in a, um, binder over here for a very long time. And then when D had introduced us to that organization last year, it kind of gave me a reason or a, a desire to pull that out and, um, do something with it, um, in their honor. Um, this one is another one that I kind of designed. I had purchased, um, from Busy Peach embroidery threads. They're like silk or cupro. They're cupro, um, which I think is kind of a silky, um, I don't know if it's a synthetic or if it's uh, like a polyester or if it's like a cupro cotton, but it's like a, a really nice. But anyway, I pulled out and this was um, meant to be a um, St. Patrick's Day stitch um, last year. And again, this is my de my own design. I was just trying something out. Um, I think either I had meant to do like a pillow finish or something like that with it. I just need to get the rest of like the border done. Um, but it's something that I designed again in my, um, on my iPad in the, the, um, design on the, the stitch um, what am I trying to say? The application, the stitch designer on my iPad. Anyway, um, but yeah, I started it March 17th and this is on a 16 count remnant of, um, shoot, I wish I could remember the name of it now, but I, it's left over from my Chester's place. Um, I wish I could remember what it's called, but anyways, it's 16 count. Um, and it was just like a, you know, a trim, a corner that I pulled off. Um, and then I put like in my little stash of like scraps. So, so that's that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it really. Um, and if you don't, if you aren't familiar, so some of my background, my family is Irish Scottish. Um, so the Irish, um, like their version of like when you toast or, or say cheers when you um, are drinking it's slancha, which kind of means to your health, to your life, um, or to life, you know, that kind of thing. So 
um, that's what that was. And it was just, again, it was just a little design thing that I was trying out. We are really close to the end of this. Um, so let's do, I think that's another kit. I don't think I've started that one. This is um, a 32 count Fortnite fabrics called Darlin. And I was doing different, oh, that's the back, that's the back, here we go, here's the front, doing different um, Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, they had released a whole set of patterns and flosses that go with them. Um, so like, that one's called the Trickster, I think, yeah, this one, see, so I barely had any green left, but there it was variegated, um, so it's meant to be like Loki. Um, so I'm working on Danvers now, which is that one, which is um, Captain Marvel. Um, but there's a bunch of different ones, and I started doing them. Um, the patterns are on the back side. This would be another good arbitrary August thing, but I haven't really, um, I don't know. I put this down and then just kind of wasn't, not that I wasn't interested anymore, but I was just kind of... Um, I don't know. I can't remember why I started these. I mean, I know I got them and then I wanted to do them, but it seems like I was maybe stitching them for a prompt or something. I just don't know what, um, what that prompt was or why. Um, I wanted to do it, but the trickster, I started 620 June 20th and finished June 25th. So Jan Danvers, I started June 25th, and then that's all the stitching. I think I just did all that in one day and then didn't pick it back up. So there's that. That's all I got done with that. Um, so uh, the fabric's really pretty. And I did plan on doing, as you can kind of see, doing one in each of the eight little kind of, you know, sections. Um, I don't know if there are eight here. One, two, three four, five, six. There's 13. So, um, it may be that, you know, I pick the eight, the eight that I want to do, or that, that, you know, that speak to me, the eight characters that I like the most, maybe. Um, but there's that. So pick that back up whenever. And then, oh, this is this has been on my whip go, so I know this is um, older. This is Tiny Modernist Sleepy Hollow, which um, I have the digital pattern for, but I've also got the um, printout, just because I've shown this so many times. This, I did a Forbidden Fiber Co. conversion, but I'm using a Be Stitch Me June 2021 color of the month called Neptune, and that is where I'm at. I've got a little, I've got the border done all the way across the top here, but then I've got this little section here with the couple of the skeletons. And so I know I started this in 2021, of course. And I think this may have been part of a prompt is why I started it. Like it had enough little different motifs in it that um, I was part of something that was asking for prompt, you know, to stitch something based on prompts. And then um, after that, I, um, you know, like I said, I pulled it back out or put it on my whip go for 2022. I just can't find it on here. I can't see where I, or I can't find it where I started it. Okay, I think in July, July of 2021 sometime. So yeah, 
so there's that this is definitely one I want to continue I mean it's it's a big project it is a big old project but it's worth continuing um I probably ought to put it in a bag where I recognize it better it's like in a bag that's got like birds on it I ought to find a Halloween bag or something or something I've got it that clear one that I emptied here a few minutes ago maybe I'll put it in there so I can see what it is through the through the vinyl and then I think the only thing I've got left in this giant mess is this was the Homely House Plants number two sal by Stitchonomy. Um, I don't stitch any of their stuff anymore, really. Um, but I am going to finish this because it is kind of cute. Um, it is on a very big piece of fabric, so I definitely want to make sure I reuse the fabric. But it's just a cabinet with um, plants on it. I think it was going to take up like this top half. Um, but this is, hold on, I'll tell you because I think. Um, it's a DMC, obviously DMC um, conversion. Started April 18th on a 16 count. This is C and C called Luna. I don't know what that means. I was gonna say color and cotton, but I honestly thought this was like a Fortnite fabric. <laughs> but maybe it isn't okay so um may have been um something that i got from fire poppies and maybe they put c and c on the the label or something and that's just what i wrote down here too but yeah it started april 18th 2021 and a plant was released like every week or something and so i only got the first plant done obviously um but i think i do want to finish this it, it was a cute cute pattern like i said i don't stitch their stuff anymore um they do free sales quite a bit but there were a couple that were kind of um a couple that have not been really my cup of tea plus these sales like this um they're uh, like stitchonomy once once you get on their um email list They'll, they will email you from time to time, you know, hey, I've got this new one coming out. Um, but you can also then buy, like, the full kit from them with all the extras, the goodies and stuff. Um, but in my case, I just kind of um, would do the sign up for the free version. And then you get it in pieces, um, that kind of thing. So that is it. I think that is everything. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. I know I've definitely got a bunch of kits over here. Um... Oh, well, I was going to say here at the end, just because, um, I showed you my, my Gaia, but also on my Gaia, um, that I was working on yesterday is also my earth band sampler. These are both again on my arbitrary August wheel, but that these are, <laughs> these were just shown very recently. Um, but that's definitely one I'm currently working on. Um, my Anxiety by um, Night Spirit Studio. I'm continuing to work on it. Um, there's that. And then my Judgy Caterpillar Burb Sal, my four birds. By Brooklyn Stormly, Stormy Artwork by Artwork by Brooklyn Stormy, designed by Keely Tint Stitch. Um, and those three. And I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing I will show, actually, my Natural World Sal. Um, it's right where I left it the last time. But yeah, everything else is literally a kitted up, kitted up um, in a bag just floss and fabric or just floss or floss and pattern or whatever so um i am going to go through all this mess i am slowly going to get all of these back on or get these on my notions app and on my um in my new paper whip journal and 
I really appreciate y'all. This is two and a half hours. This wasn't terrible. I decided to stick with it because I knew I was almost at the end of this bucket. Oh, this is not true at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so buried underneath. <laughs> buried underneath everything over here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, we're going to keep going for a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so this. I completely forgot about this bucket because it completely got buried in all these bags over here. This is the one that I showed yesterday on my latest, um, latest, um, episode. This is, now see, that's not a start yet, but that's okay. This is the scrapbook bucket of all the queer designer stuff. And I'm pulling it all out, y'all. Y'all are going to just see all of this. I don't care. All of my queer designer stuff. Okay. So, and and queer uh, designers and fabric and floss and all that good stuff. Okay. So, some of these I'm not going to show you because, like, this, this is a quirky Quaker. But it's its, its own in kitted up thing. This is, you can't see it. This is my Beverly Glen sampler that I bought the Roxy Flosco kit. But I, again, kit, haven't started it yet. This is um, Dean Kari's Don't Touch Me from Spring Fling 2021. It's a kit, I haven't started it yet. This, okay, this is a whip. This is the pumpkin patch by Kari, Uncanny Kari. Oh, it's teeny tiny. I forgot how small it is. And I pulled Roxy Floss Co. for this. So there's that. Um, and let me tell you, because I just started this one kind of recently. Like it may have been actually for, um, like around, yeah, it was October 23rd, 2022. And the fabric is a it's called Black Pearl. It's by Jody of the Steel City Stitchers. It's a 32 count linen. It does have glitter, but just on the one side. And I need to remember that green because that green looks like something I might want to use for another project. Over here. I need to look. I need to look and see. It's called Jaded. Okay. I'm going to put that over here out of the way. So don't forget about it later. Okay, so there's that. This is my Needs Much Love Transpride Tapestry. <laughs> um, it is DMC, all DMC at all, um, except for Diamant, which I pulled for the unicorn, but I don't know if that's what I want to do because I've stitched with Diamant a couple of times now and I really don't like it very much and this um, fabric is um, hand dyed by Rolanda opal 14 count uh, there's no color like they have like um, it's 14 a1 so it was just a cut um, like what they had listed and I started this on June 5th 2021 and this is as far as I got. I think I did um, stitch a bit more on this, maybe for Whitgo last year, maybe, or for some other something, some other prompt. But yes, definitely need to get that back out sometime soon. Very, 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 very soon. Um, and I did go back. You notice the needle minder that was, I think, meant to be the needle minder for this um, project. And I th think either. Kari got more in stock or something like that so I definitely went back um, and this this is my um, companion lesbian pride unicorn these are dinky dye um, conversion that mislaid pages put together for us um, and that's the fabric um, that I pulled for it but again gotta do trans pride before I can do lesbian pride this is my eat your heart out by D um, and Kari, this one I started 
This was going to be my Valentine stitch for 2022 and I got off track with it because I'm repeating myself at this point, but I'm going to tell you when I started this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I couldn't have started it this late. Okay, maybe I didn't even write it down. This was meant to be my Valentine style for 2022. I'm almost positive. And I got on track. I was doing a certain number of stitches a day. This is actually part of my arbitrary August because this is so close to being done. It's not even funny. But for some reason, I cannot find. It's a Fortnite fabric. I know that. But I was going to do so many stitches a day leading up to um, Valentine's Day and, you know, those first 14 days in February. But I got way off track, um, primarily because I chose Diamond for um, the hair. And, um, yeah, it's kind of a lot. And there are quarter stitches that I have to stitch with. And it's kind of a nightmare. And then I pulled Leo and Roxy for the wings. And then uh, Leo and Roxy and um, a color and cotton, classic color work, sorry, for um, the, the skin tone. So um, that's really close to being done. That's an arbitrary August for sure. So there's the pride pack uh, for Move Forward and Love <laughs> for Dinky Dyes. I bought that from... Uh, Jesse, I'm not using it for that. Y'all saw it earlier. I'm using the Roxy Flosco, but I wanted to buy the Pride Colors because I might use it for something else. This is... Oh my goodness, what is this? I should know what this is, and I don't, but that's obviously kitted up for something. <laughs> oh, this is... I started... Um, is it Sailor's Delight? Oh gosh, what is it called? This is D and Kari. Did I start this this year? Maybe I did. Oh, Van Valentine? The Eat Your Heart Out, that was this year's Valentine stitch. 18 count, Fortnite fabric, sunny and sheer. Yeah, good grief. I, that's how bad I am. Okay, so that's that. This is, um, let me print it. Oh my gosh, I know I started this this year. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Oh, no, that's not it. That's something else. But yeah, I started this this year. Good googly moogly but I did not write it down but Kim Peel Fortnite Fabrics 18 count again Roxy Flosco conversion um I think there's one more color I need that either I pulled out for something else or something but yeah started that like not this long ago I just can't believe I don't see it on here I don't think this was released long enough ago to um, have started it. Oh, Sailor's Delight. Okay, August 13th. Planetarium, Starburst, Cherry, and Blue Lagoon. Okay, so maybe there are only three colors. But that's it. Started August 13th. Haven't touched it since then. Just got the belly button and a little bit of the merman's tail done. So there's all that. That's exciting. Um, What else? What else? What else? This is all of my February, 
Febu Aviary kit. This is all of my Let's Make a Statement kit. So that's, um, I still need to do number two. This is, um, I finished, uh, we still go on, but this is my kit for the remainder or for the rest so I can do we go on. We still go on is in here. Um, this is, I want to do the other Krampus, um, the, I already did the Krampus sampler, which is right here, <laughs> folded up in here. I want to do the other, the Krampus Klein, the smaller one. So I've kept all this together so that way I don't lose my colors and everything so I can do it. And I intended to do it, um, so the Krampus sampler I did over the holidays uh, 2021 and did like a bit each day until, um, until the end of the year. But then um, I was going to do the same thing last year, but then we got the modern folk embroidery and I could only keep up with one. This is, this is also kitted up, but I'll show it to you anyway. This is what I'm putting my Giddy Crabs, Marumi Crafts on. It's um, Miss Light Pages 32 Count Linen, one of a kind, but the red for the crabs. And then this is my whip of my Afshan sampler, which I barely, barely started, but I want to keep going. And I'm using silks. They're um, fangirl fiber silks that I pulled. I don't know if I'm going to have enough, so I'm trying to be very, 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 very careful. Let me see if I can find when I started it. Um, I started on November the 10th. These are a couple of the colors um, of the silks. I'm trying to see if I can find. It's a 16 count be stitch me called pink chocolate is the fabric. Um, I started it for Black Sampler November. So, um, so it's all here together as well. So that truly is it, I think. I'm gonna definitely, we're almost at three hours now. <laughs> It's, it's 2.45, 2 hours and 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. This has been an absolute crazy fest. Um, for those of y'all watching this later, this will probably be edited for time and content. But I appreciate you all being here with me. Um, so yes, so the plan is, after going through all of that, I am going to... Pretty much, I think I've decided I want to keep every single one of my whips. <laughs> if anybody was keeping count and wants to let me do know down in the comments, once I get it all put into either a paper journal or in the Notions app, I should have a better idea. I think out of everything, I think the Made to Create and the Owl Forest Alice in Wonderland style were the only two that I kind of just said I didn't... Um, I wasn't as enthusiastic about them anymore and it's not that I don't want to play or stitch them it's just that they will be stitched at a much later date um, like I obviously have so many other things I want to do first so that's where we um, that's where we are at and that's all I've got so if anybody hung in there. I want to say thank you to Nithya. I'm so glad you got to stop by for a little bit. Um, I hope you are doing well, my friend. I hope you are having a great Sunday. And um, for anybody else that might have popped in and maybe just didn't say hi, just kind of hung out. Thank you for being here. Um, and like I said, I will definitely, this will um, be up. An edited version will be up. And if anybody watches this, I know this was an absolute like melee of fabric and floss and information but in doing all of this I realized I do have a lot of bags that are um kitted up um things and I gotta figure out what this is y'all I obviously oh I know what this is hold on not that not that y'all even okay so colors I'm almost positive now that I see the colors and the fabric um, I think this is for the Big Bad Vibes um, sampler. 
so yeah so um yeah if y'all are interested in the kit version of this it will be much you well, know i hesitate in saying it out loud but i think this will be much um less uh much shorter video if it's the kits but if you are interested in seeing the kitted up um projects i have as well by all means give me uh give me your comments your thoughts down below and um i'll see if i can do that obviously this is sunday it's almost lunchtime here so i'm definitely gonna wrap this up and um <laughs> i have to put all this away so i can get out of this room so i could go get something to eat but yeah um but then I will definitely be reorganizing everything and putting things in um, different containers. So I'll put all the kits separate. And if I get enough feedback and you guys would like to see all my kitted up um, stuff, I've got a lot of modern folk, modern folk embroidery. I've got definitely got Dean Kari, um, my burbs. Um, I've got. Um, a lot of forbidden old forbidden fiber co um kits that i'd purchased i really don't purchase very many anymore um just because just because um but that kind of thing um let me know in the comments and i would be happy to do that so um other than that y'all it's been fun this has been crazy i didn't think this would well i knew this would go i was hoping to go a couple hours but i didn't think i'd actually go the full almost three so i appreciate appreciate y'all hanging in there and I will definitely see y'all next time. Thanks again for hanging out and um, take care of each other and I'll see you soon. Bye.